These three North Alabama World War II veterans will travel to Normandy for the commemoration of D-Day 79. One of those veterans is Army veteran Arthur Hewlett. Here's his story. I was drafted in 1945. Arthur Hewlett was assigned to a quartermaster unit with the Occupation Army after the war ended. After my training, I was immediately sent to Europe. He can vividly recall the hardship during his first week in Europe. We went to Normandy. And they put us on a, on a train, a cattle train, and rode us around for about a week. And we went to Belgium, we went through, they took us all over, almost everywhere they had been fighting. The train stopped in Mannheim, Germany, and that's where he was put in charge of a laundry company. So I took care of all of the laundry and dry cleaning for the company. He recalls the toughest part of his job was corralling the men under him. For them to not give you trouble, now that was my biggest, biggest job I had. In addition to running the laundry company, it wasn't uncommon for Arthur to pull double shifts as they also gave him a security detail. Occasionally in charge of guard duty. And, and just imagine I had the two jobs at one time. And then things changed. You used gasoline to clean clothes and the thing caught fire and burned up, destroyed two trailers and bad to burn up three or four of our men. And of course, that put the company out of business. Arthur got a new job. They put me in charge of the battalion mess hall. I wasn't trained to cook. I couldn't even boil water. So he learned from his men. I had good men under me that I could trust. After returning to the States, he joined the Army Reserve and was called back to active duty. I was in Korea for about I guess about 15 months. Arthur ended his Army career in 1953. He graduated from Alabama A&M and later took a job as an engineer's aide at Redstone Arsenal, where he worked for 27 years. In retirement, he became a minister. And those skills he learned nearly eight decades ago still keep him busy in the kitchen. But I like to make candy now, peanut, peanut bread and pecan bread. I learned to make that on my own. And all of that came from my being in the military, I'd experiment with, with cooking. And one I didn't kill myself. <laughs> and yes, if you've ever had that brittle, you know that Arthur Hewlett has the best brittle in town. And by the looks of this photo right here and this pitching arm, Arthur is ready to start even a new career as a pitcher for the Rocket City Trash Pandas. So look out, young pictures. You may have a serious threat on the line. On a serious <laughs> note now, as we do head into Memorial Day weekend, I do want to mention that Arthur is part of a Gold Star family. His brother, Irvin Hewlett, was killed on Christmas Day, 19. He was just 22 years old when he died in combat. His name is etched on a Korean War monument wall in Washington, D.C.